okay. Um, so I, I didn't remember to film most of my warm-ups and my generalized warm-up, but I remember to film something. So here's my first warm-up at 425. Um, and then I usually hit either some singles, doubles, triples at my work weight before an AMRAP. My first single at 447.5 moved okay, so I went straight into my AMRAP. And I got it for a triple. The third rep was garbage because I lost my like scapular positioning. Um, you know, no good reason for that. Honestly, it was just lazy with keeping it tight on the lockout on the second one. But that's a PR, so I was pretty okay with that. Um, and then I am working my way back up on dumbbells. My best ever is 160s for 10. Um, I did 120s for 12 before this as a warm up. And this was pretty easy, so I'm hoping to build my way up to some, uh, I think it's 160s for 10. And so I'm hoping to hit 170s for 10 um, pretty soon. Usually I just have to band a pair of 10s or 5s to the 150s. So that's kind of a training goal I've got for the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know what the weight was, but here's some lat pull downs. I've always preferred leaning back a little bit because you can get better contraction out of your lat. So you get a full stretch at the top, contraction at the back. I try to keep my amount of body English like there but like not super explosive like controlled ish um i would say this is about the limit of what i'm comfortable with i hit three sets of these after my pressing um and i think i got the clips out of order because i did z press prior to this because i go flat press flat press light overhead and then i do my back motions um and so I had to drop back my weight on my Z presses quite a bit, as you can see, because uh, my shoulders are getting a little bit banged up. I'm on the last three weeks of a block, um, and I've been pushing the flat pressing a little hard, so I had to drop back the vertical pressing. I only keep vertical pressing in there to keep my shoulders healthy. Um, so I did 35s and 40s for, I think, I think this is 35 for like 16 reps on these tricep extensions, and then the next one's 40 um, for 12 or something. Usually I stick to dumbbell skull crushers, but I rotate them when I plateau pretty hard. Um, so I'll probably stick these out till, I, till they stall out pretty bad. And then I'll go back to my beloved dumbbell skull crushers because those have always kept my, uh, never had to deal with el elbow tendonitis as long as I keep those strong. Uh, I find a lot of people when they first introduce them actually get pain from them, but that's because you, your tendons adapting to impose demands and that's, it's not strong enough. That's, that's the whole issue nine times out of 10, it, at least it seems to me. Um, and then I also hit hammer curls after this, but I can't be bothered to film my hammer curls, uh, especially because I'm really, really weak at them. Um, I curled way more than I do now in high school. It's kind of a project to get back towards that, but I just kind of didn't train biceps for about four years, uh, something like that. Um, yeah, so this is, this is on my threes week, nine week training block. So I guess this would be what week seven. Yeah, I would say this was seven weeks in. Um, I'd already gone pretty heavy this week, so I'm feeling pretty banged up because I had, um, I had 635 for a triple on squat on Sunday. Um, I benched like 435 for five on Monday and then like full workout, obviously. Um, and then I also pulled 675 for a triple, which I did post, um, yesterday. And so I'm pretty banged up. Low back is feeling it. And somehow I'm supposed to get up tomorrow morning and do safety squat bars in the morning before a full day of classes and lab. So that's going to be interesting. But this is my first attempt at one of these. Let me know if you want me to talk about anything.